Let's get started. So, first of all, what is transaction replacement? And not the easiest thing to go see, but this is a screenshot of uh, Blue Wallet, and I have just made a transaction. And there's two options at the bottom. I can go bump the fee or cancel the transaction. And how this works under the hood is transaction replacement. I send a new transaction that does something different. In the first case, transaction pays a little bit of a higher fee. Second case, transaction that takes all that money and sends it all the way back to me. Obviously, those two things are useful. I mean, if you've actually tried to send a transaction in the past few weeks, you might have realized it kind of got stuck for a while because uh, fees went up a lot, you know, or you might have decided to go cancel transaction. Simple as that. Now, the question is, how do we actually implement this? And in the really early days, Bitcoin had this kind of totally nuts in sequence thing, which would let you, you know, send a couple gigabytes worth of transactions. But there's a much simpler way to do it, which is uh, replaced by fee. Replaced by fee says that more money is good. So if you send a transaction now that spends more money on fees than a previous one, long story short, it'll get replaced and that's that. You know, miners might as well mine the transaction paying the most money. And if Bitcoin had gone this right in the beginning, I wouldn't be here. But we did have a little detour, which is after that first end sequence thing turned out to be a total failure, we had something called the first scene rule. and. Uh, there's some uh, kind of famous twins going and buying a coffee with Bitcoin. You can tell how well this works by the fact that that dude looks really impressed by this whole process. You know, and certainly if you've been here and you've bought anything, you probably paid with Lightning because Lightning actually works. On-chain transactions kind of suck. But the idea was for a while that, well, if the rule was the first transaction you see is the one you mine, it kind of looks like you can send money instantly. In practice, there's lots of ways to go and screw this over. It doesn't really work as a security thing. Then this ultimately is why so many merchants, they want a confirmation or they want lightning. And you know the first scene rule is kind of dead, but it did lead to this crazy political compromise called BIP 125. And unfortunately, my name is on that BIP and I'm kind of at fault here, but basically it was a way to say, well, some transactions will have the silly first scene rule, other ones will just do replaced by fee. And you know, you can read the technical details, it uses the end sequence field thing and all that. But the more important stuff is this creates a big mess because sometimes you can't easily replace transaction. You know, sometimes you send money and you can't easily get it fixed when it gets stuck. You know? There's a lot of ugly stuff about this and also it's a privacy concern because now you have two classes of transactions which further divides up the anonymity set. But the th really big thing that got full RBF kind of on the table, as in always have RBF enabled, was multi-party transactions. And this is really why I'm here. You know, if I go send a coin join transaction, the problem with coin join is I could be part of a transaction with a couple hundred different other people. If any one of those people double spends that coin join input at the, at the right time, they can get the transaction of hundreds of people stuck because they can double spend with a low fee. Now it's out there sitting there in miners' mempools. You know, you don't necessarily know that this is happening from your point of view of being part of the coin join, and you just see your coin join get stuck. Full RBF fixes this in pretty much all cases because either the transaction we wanted to happen replaces the low fee transaction, or the low fee transaction isn't actually so low fee, and it beats it, and it gets mined quickly. And that's really all it comes down to. Full RBF fixes this because something will make forward progress quickly, and we don't have situations where things are in limbo for ages. So, how do we make this happen? Well, Bitcoin Core version 24.0, if I remember correctly, added a new config flag, mempool full RBF equals one. You can see it on my little hat here. And if you set that in your bitcoin.com file, restart your node, you're running full RBF, simple as that. You know, like I said, it's a little political, so this is why this isn't a default, but through the willpower of the people, we can go turn this on. And if enough people do this and some miners do this, great, we're, we're all done. Now, if all you're doing is turning on full RBF, there's an interesting thing about propagation, which is, well, what's the probability that transactions will get from one node to another? And you know, you can do a bit of stats on this, and long story short is, if 
a few percent of full RBF nodes enable it, the probability of a node connecting to other nodes at random being connected to one of these full RBF nodes kind of goes up very quickly as the percentage increases, you know? Now, this isn't the full story. In 10 minutes, I can't really explain the full implications of this, but there's other ways to go and make this number better. But long story short is if you do the simple thing and just turn it on, you're still contributing. But if you really want to do something interesting, you can run uh, preferential peering code. And well, what does that do? Well, it adds a new bit that your Bitcoin Core node advertises saying, hey, I'm running full RBF. If you want to run full RBF, please connect to me. That's uh, my patch for this. You can go uh, over there. I'll, I'll have a new one uh, for the um, recently made uh, version 24.1 release. But you know, if enough people turn this on, we can go uh, get this 10-year-old debate settled and uh, everyone gets to go benefit. And with that, thank you. So user activated full RBF. Do we have time for a question? We totally do, yeah. Do we have a question for Peter? Thanks, Peter. I also read your blog post about this, and it took me a while to sort of digest it all. Uh, there was a podcast by one of the Blockstream guys, and they said something really interesting that if you are running full mempool full RBF, you actually have greater visibility of the transactions that are in the mempool. So for you to estimate fees better as a normal Bitcoin user, you have the advantage of being a little bit more accurate in what's the current market price of fees. Is that accurate? Yep, that's absolutely true. Um, now, certainly, in a situation where not a lot of people are actually taking advantage of this, the difference is pretty small. But, you know, it's an additive thing. I mean, if you are running full RBF, you just get a little bit more information. Um, there's a similar argument here with uh, things like um, BTC pay, where even if they still require confirmation, they still might as well go learn if someone tries to double spend earlier rather than later. And uh, by default, BTC pay in the Docker images to install it, um, mempool full RBF equals one is set by default. So, you know, it's one of those things which doesn't make a huge difference for you personally, but you might as well go do it. So, and you know, I suspect this is going to be the default soonish. But this it's a political thing. There's a small minority who really hate the idea, who really want to go pay for coffee on chain, and you know. As long as they keep on uh, shouting, uh, risk-adverse Bitcoin Core maintainers aren't likely to merge patches to make this the default. But you know, as more people run it, it's a better argument. And certainly, if more miners run it, you know, all this debate kind of becomes uh, becomes irrelevant. And currently, I think probably about three, four percent of the hashing power is running it right now. Cool. Next question. It's a simple topic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't thank actually you then. have a question then either myself. Thanks, Peter. <laughs>